So what do I say? Do I just like, uh, hi, welcome to another episode of Cluster Baby. That's what the others have been calling their tube views. So I guess if I just do it, if I just do it, then it'll all be, it'll all work out. It'll be good. All right. <laughs> Bye guys. Welcome to another episode of Clustercraft. It's your pal Twig. We are here in the shanty town right now. I was asking caveman about who else does content and stuff because i figured whoever does content has told you guys more about what's going on here and i'm trying to get an idea of what you guys know and don't know you know i don't know how much you guys actually know about this place i don't know how many of the crew i th they're the ones that are content creators here, I believe, the sailors. I don't know how much they actually told you about this place. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour, since at least viewers that are following me around probably have not seen everything here before. You've, I think, seen the bar? I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure what you guys see and what you don't see. I just kind of guess at any given moment you might be there, and it seems to work out? Question mark? I don't know. Anyways. I'll start over here at this at this thing. This is where um, the cruise ship used to be at one point. They like came and crashed over here, and we they took it down at some point. I don't. I wasn't there. I'm not quite sure what happened there. It got like blowed up or something, and they no longer have the boat over here. We now have this stuff instead, and I am no longer allowed to use that. I was banned, both legally and emotionally. This is a thing that, like, people drop down on whenever they, um, become existing. And then you can come over here, and, um, there's this funky thingamajiggy. Here it says hi! If stuff lands here, it'll end up down there. I don't know where it comes from. It just comes from, like, the sky. Uh, the world works in mysterious ways, so we're not gonna worry about that very much. This over here is a mailboxes. I can't remember whose this was. Some of the signs got blown up at one point and we had to put them back and I didn't know who was here. So whoever used to be that sign, I am sorry, but I don't remember who you were, unfortunately. This is a, a stagecoach, whatever that means. Caveman has this here to sell stuff, apparently. Like these tears. Spooky roses in here, and I guess that's how much you have to pay for them. I don't really know how currency works, so I just sort of try not to worry about that stuff. And at least before, I would get stuff from the family. They usually wouldn't charge anything for me. Anyway, this is uh, the bar. It has an actual name, right? Yeah, the Drunken Pufferfish, that's it. I'm not sure if you guys saw that night. I don't remember much of it, thankfully, but if you saw, then that's where that happened. And we've got some more shop stuff over here. We got these ducks where boats can go. That over there is Lad's, where she sells like logs. It hasn't been tended to in ages though, because um, she's not been around in a while. This goes down to uh, the, the black market as I've heard people call it. I'm not allowed over there, so I can't really go in and show you. I got banned, like I said, so. Oh yeah, this is where the captain used to sleep after the ship got deleted. I don't know if she ever actually slept in here once, but this was built for her to sleep in anyway. And we've got these doors. These metal ones are for the, the, the village people. For some reason, they don't know how to hit buttons and we don't want them getting out of there apparently. So we just use those, I guess. Oh, this is um a farm, I think. They got animals over here and lots of sheep. And I think that's about all of the town, apart from where I started anyways, which is my little mushroom. Oh, and then there's this over here that um, Elsina, I think that's how her name's pronounced. I always forget. She sells potions over. That's a dragon. Anyways, she sells potions over here. They had a lot of plans for more stuff to build. Like up here was gonna be something. It's this big flat thing of dirt. If nobody else put something here, I might do something up here eventually. That's the tour for that. And today I want to go and look for some people. Well, there's a good handful of people that's just not been here in a while. We used to have, like, people coming and going from this town a lot, and now there's no one over here. It's just 
me, sometimes caveman, and I think I've seen signs of Vimera hanging out around here. Oh yeah, and the family over. The family has been over here as well. Not everyone though. <gasps> this was Melly. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Melly used to be over here too. So she had a thing she was building over at the um in the middle of nowhere. Maybe I'll go check on Melly soon here. Cause I haven't seen her in ages and even being basically kicked out of the family, I'm worried about people in the family who have gone missing, you know? It leaves a bad feeling in my stomach. There's been there's almost like bad energy in the in the ground. I don't know how to explain it really. I can almost feel when something's off from like the land here. It's a, it's a little bit of a goblin thing. Might be a little specific to me, but regardless, it, I'm not typically wrong whenever I have one of those feelings. Yeah, I want to check on Melly soon. I think I'll probably go do that next. I gotta, like, get some food and stuff before I go, though. Let's see. Hey, Twig. Uh, oh, hey, Iris. Hey, let me come outside. Hey, what's up? Haven't seen you in a minute. Are you doing okay? Oh, what do you mean? You got a fever? Are you feeling down? Uh, I mean, I was a little sad for a while, but I'm feeling better today. You been sleeping okay? I don't know. Did they do something to you? They? What do you mean? The non-family members. Uh, no. Something happened and I... What? Do I look funny? I feel like you might be a little more green than usual. Uh, do I? I caught you sleepwalking the other day. You sure you're feeling okay? God. You can talk to me. Emotionally? No. But... I thought it was physically okay, but I guess that might not be correct. I don't remember getting out of bed at any point. You walked right into the villager compound, and uh, it sounded oh. like you cold cut <gasps> one of them while they were sleeping. Like I what? Like you punched him in the face. Oh. Oh, jeez. I, I get it. If they owe you money, that's that's fine. But that's just not a, something I expect from you. Uh, yeah, no, I don't even... I don't even do trades with them. Is he okay? Who cares? Well, whether or not he's sick will determine how worried I should be. Well, let's go check. Okay. Hello, sir. He seems fine. He's got green eyes. Well, that's... I think that's normal for villagers, so that's good. I, I should probably not get super close to him. Wow, I guess it's been longer than I thought since I last saw Spider. It wouldn't hurt to go and visit her again. Yeah, I ran out of potions a while ago, but I didn't, like, think a whole bunch of it. Usually I can go a while without having them. Guess I also got caught up in stuff that was happening recently. Have you talked with Shirk? Uh, no. I... Don't imagine she wants to see me right now. She cares about you, Twig. She's just angry. Without, without she seemed to be feeling, I just... I don't want to make her more upset than I already did, you know? You should try talking to her. I mean, maybe. I guess. But I definitely need to see Spider again if that's what's happening. Thanks for telling me. I, I don't remember when that happens at all. Yeah, I'll head out and see her tomorrow. Okay. You, you be safe. If you need me, come find me. Yeah. I'll let you know if I need anything. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't want to get hit by things. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night! Good night. Alright, so I found myself some food, and I got a book in case I need to leave a message in case they're not there. And I think I'm going to go visit... Definitely Spider. I definitely need to go see Spider. Melly. I want to see Melly. And I think Alcina is actually closer by, so I think I'll go see her first. See if she's over here. She was really nice. Oh! Well, to be fair, I don't know if she's living here, but this is her, like, place. Oh! Uh, free stuff? Free stuff. 
I'll see that. Looks like she's not repurposed it, like I suggested. Huh. Not here. Ooh, ooh, I think they made her uh, stay in the pufferfish, right? Let me see if she's in the pufferfish. Huh. Elsina! Current. Does that mean no one's living up here? Huh. I wonder what that means. Do you know where Elsina is? I would have think she would be living somewhere. Maybe she went on an adventure. I don't even know, like... She doesn't have a mailbox, does she? She has one over here. I guess I'll leave this for her. Alright. I'll just dump that there next to those free wings that she's got there. I guess it's time to go see, like, uh, Melly. Let's go see Melly. Alright! Melly! Melly! See if she's around here somewhere. Melly! Ooh, big map. Uh, Melly? Whoa, look at all those armors. This thing is huge. Melly! Mel's? Hello? Melly! Melly! Hello? Uh, interesting. She's usually over here working. Like, even if we don't see her, we know where to find her, you know? And then she's generally findable. I don't see her anywhere. There we go, um... So I can put that in here. Assuming she's coming back, this would be the first thing she'd see out of the portal. Sleep here. A sense it's getting dark again. Sleep! 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 Go down faster! Thank you! You know what? I don't need all of this stuff on me. Let's see. Much lighter. This is, uh... Much more ideal for the travel I think I'm gonna take. I think I'll just... Anyway, I really don't want to go in the nether again, so I think I'll just... I think I'll just find some nice dirt and, um... Here we go. I'll just make my way over to Spider now. Aha! Where am I? Okay, I am close. I haven't done that in a little bit, so I was a little bit worried that I would be off. I'm pretty sure this way is where Spider is, though. Aha! I see it. Spider! Hello? Uh, Spider! Hey, wait, though. You know where Spider is? Alright, not gonna tell me. That's fine. I can find her. Hello? Spider! Hello? Bilbo! Hmm. I don't see her anywhere. That may pose to be a bit of an issue. Spider? Oh, the door is open. Huh. Well, I guess I'll have to leave her a note too. Let me make sure. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just leave this here. I'll like... Indicate that it's important with torches. I guess she's not here. That is not good. Spider? Twig? What? Twig? There you Jerk. are. Uh, hi. Have you seen Spider anywhere? I've been looking for a while. I just was looking around myself and I couldn't find her. <laughs> I, I left a note. Hopefully she'll see it if she's been around, but... I don't think she'll see it. What do you mean? I think she has gone missing, just like the others. Ah, oh, jeez. What were you looking for her for? To make sure she was still around, for the most part. Ah. Uh, how'd your, uh, meeting with Caveman go? Regrettably, I did not get a chance to stab him, but I suppose that is better for everyone. Yeah, that's probably good. But I would have if I could. 
I'm guessing you got, um, the sword back? I did. Okay. He gave it back immediately once he realized the issue. Ah. Yeah, um, sorry again about that. I still don't quite understand where the problem lies, but I understand that it made you upset. The sword is sentimental to me. It is all I have left of my old life. What's... what is, a uh, sentimental? You... you do not know what that word means? Uh, no. Oh dear. Let's talk inside, okay. shall we? Okay. Sentimentality is having an item that reminds you of a past event or a person or something similar. Because I was shipwrecked here, all I had with me as the captain of my crew was killed was the swords and the smallest set of tools I was given before the trip. Is that why you guys find items so important? No, not all of them. Some items are rare and valuable. Some of them are useful, and some of them are sentimental. Huh. Yeah, where I'm from, we didn't hold on to objects quite like that. Like, I don't have any item that I remember my family by. I just remember them by the ground and the sky and berries, since that was the crop that we grew and our family name. Your family name is Barry? Yeah. Yeah, that's what the B stands for. I suppose I should have asked that sooner. It's alright. It's never needed to come up. But yeah, I've never had that kind of, like, attachment thing to stuff. We always, like, we only would have what we need, and if somebody else needed something, they would just kind of take it. We shared, like, all the things. If anyone needed something, they would just sort of go to whoever had it and grab it. And if that person needed it later, then they would go and grab it later. I see, I see. The more human side of things are a little bit different. So I suppose it was my fault that I did not understand where you were coming from. I'm sorry for yelling at you. It's, it's alright. It's not like I asked or anything for you either. I just kind of assumed that everyone did things the same. Before you guys, it was just the village. It was just other goblins. Right. And then things happened, and now you're living among many races. Yeah, everyone confuses me a lot all the time. Tell me about it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I really should have, like, asked you about it or something. I hope in the future you will understand that if something is not easily accessible, it is likely not to be touched. Yeah, I'll try to remember that. I probably won't be touching a lot of things for a while after that interaction, not gonna lie. I was fairly certain for a bit there that you didn't want me in the family anymore. What? What are you talking about? It, you were just so mad and you were, the way you worded it, you were like, Hey, you know this thing that only family can use? You can't use it anymore. And Twig, Twig, my darling child. I get mad when someone throws a snowball at me. <laughs> it's very common for me to get mad. You're still part of the family. You will always be part of the family, even if you wish to fraternize with the crew. However, until we can teach you a little more about the family operations and how we deal with these certain items we own. Maybe, perhaps, just stay clear of storage areas. Does that mean I can come into non-storage areas? Of course. It's funny, I was saying earlier today I should come talk to you and I thought that you'd be mad at seeing me. <laughs> no, not at all. Mostly I've just been worried because I haven't seen you since the incident. Yeah. You haven't seen me because I thought that you didn't want to see me. I want to see you, unless you are in a place you're not supposed to be. <laughs> that is when I do not want to see you. I suppose that makes sense, yeah. Thank you, thank you for telling me that stuff. I... I had a rough night recently. I'm sorry, I did not correct myself and tell you sooner. It is an oversight on my part. Just know that you will always be part of the family, and we always want what is best for you, and what's 
whatever makes you happy. Thank you. Minus stealing things. Well, sometimes you like me stealing things, just not your things. You're not wrong. We will figure the details of that later. So why did you come to visit Spider? Uh, Ibis said that he found me sleepwalking last night. That hasn't happened in a while. Yeah, that's what I thought. In the mess of things that happened recently, I didn't realize that I ran out of potion. And I guess I went too long without it. I was hoping to find her here and fix that. But she's not here. And I didn't see the potion, like, leftovers of it or anything anywhere. I will look through my personal storage. I believe she has left me a few tombs that I have yet to look through. Perhaps we can find the recipe in one of them and get you all fixed up. Yeah, hopefully. Um, the only other place that I might have one is, um, uh, the village. Then I will go with you. You would? It's simple. I mean, I've been there with you before, haven't I? Yeah, that's true. I... I'm just always so... I'm not very helpful when we get in there. I feel bad. It is fine. Uh, it is called trauma. That's a funny sounding word. Isn't it? I've experienced it myself. It's that bad feeling you get when you visit a place where something bad has happened. Uh oh. That makes sense. Hopefully, hopefully I'm better for this year. Gotten, like, braver. Or something. I don't know. Less useless in the face of zombies. You may not work well against the zombies. However, you do have many things that are very useful and very helpful about you. Uh, thank you. Like your ability to have just a million berries on you at once. Uh, I ran out of those recently, actually. And I, I found this this morning. Oh, oh, put that down immediately. I am not I letting you eat. Rotten meat. That is disgusting. Oh, uh, well, I have I have a bit of it. Hold on. But, um, there's, um, there's some. Some? I might have actually just not wanted berries this morning. Which is a bit concerning in itself. We will get you to the village right away. If you want, we can also bring Hypus or anyone else. Whoever makes you feel comfortable. Yeah, that would that would be nice, I think. Whoever wants to or can come, you know, if if they want. And we will be with you every step of the way. I appreciate it. I yeah. suggest wait until morning before you head out. Nasty things out there in the waters. Well, I mean, I came out of the ground to get over here, so I could probably find some ground real fast. Sorry, you did what? Excuse me? You, you know, I can, um, get in the dirt and just sort of go. But like I told you to stop doing that, it's not good for your health. Let alone you'll be scaring people every area you go to. Yeah, I guess. Maybe not having the potion doesn't help my thinking, I guess. I know I don't like the nether, though. That's understandable. I can always take you through the nether. Yeah, that might be faster. Come on. We'll move quickly. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the ding ding bell. I don't know what that means, but I was told that I should say them for when I'm saying goodbye to viewers. So, I'm saying those now. Do those things. Thank you for watching, and I will leave you off with the friendly reminder that you're amazing, you're beautiful, and you are loved. Have a good day, guys!